Hey guys, hope you don't mind. I didn't do my hair and my allergies are acting up today, but I got a question about raster images versus vector images. And I really wanted to jump in and answer that for a few people, especially if you are new to the laser cutting world, you're gonna hear those two terms quite a bit. And I wanna make it really, really simple for everybody. A um, vector image is basically line art. If you can think of it that way, you're going to do really well. It's just a bunch of lines and shapes thrown together to make an image. Where raster images are pixels, little boxes that are thrown together to make an image, but there's no line in raster art. So you can't go in here into this raster image and go, okay, I want to cut out this zebra right here and have it do that because it is a raster image let me roll as far in here as i can you see it starts getting blurry and now we can see that these are pixels or boxes made of color to make this image now this image will engrave pretty well but it is not going to cut versus if we go up here this is actually your vector image let me ungroup this guy so if you look, if I scroll all the way in, I'm just getting solid color, no boxes. And that's because these are made up of lines. So if I wanted to go here and turn, let's say, this whole image into a cut file, I use red to cut, uh, I can do that. And now it outlines all these boxes and I can cut them versus engraving them. You can still engrave a vector image. You just can't cut a raster image without creating lines and shapes in that image. Now, the other thing you can do to turn this into a vector image is to trace the image. I don't suggest doing this. Do not steal from other, um, from other places, but this is how the trace does work. And this is the other reason we don't steal from other places. But now it is a vector, right? Now we can see that it is lines and shapes. And I can make it cut. So I hope that helps some of you out there. If you have further questions, just ask me. I'll do another video maybe next week that goes just a little bit deeper into it and maybe how to process a image to burn and light burn. So hope you guys are doing well and we'll talk to you all soon.